This is Asa Pittman. We see it in news. We have a report by Rob Merrick out of the Deputy Political uh, News Agency that Boris Johnson says that the UK could join Donald Trump in military action against Iran after the Saudi Arabia attack. Can we say World War III, possibly? We think it's very likely indeed that Iran was responsible for the attack against the Saudi Arabia oil facilities, he stated, on his way to New York City. Standing by the United States president threat of taking action to defend the Saudis against any further attacks from Iran. Boris Johnson has blamed Iran for the missile attack on Saudi Arabia's oil industry and stands ready to join Donald Trump in offering any military help needed to the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. There is, quote, a high degree of probability that Tehran was in fact behind the devastating attack that shut down half of Saudi Arabia's oil production and has raised fears of a greater war, the prime minister stated. Images of the site show that remnants of Iranian-made cruise missiles, a UK official added, making the claim of responsibility by Houthi rebels in Yemen absolutely implausible. In other words, of course, there's no way that the Houthi rebels could have possibly carried off such an attack. Mr. Johnson said that he had not yet decided on a response, but pointed to an American proposal to do more to defend Saudi. Well, I reckon so. Uh, unless we want to go back to using camels and horses, we better protect the oil industry. We will be following that very closely and clearly if we're asked to do so, either by the Saudis or by the Americans, to have a key role. Then we will consider in what way that we can be useful, he went on to tell reporters. Until now, the UK has declined to echo Mr. Trump's blaming of Iran for the incident which occurred on September the 14th, which prompted him to warn the US stood locked and loaded to take military action. But speaking en route to the United Nations in New York, Mr. Johnson says that the UK is attributing responsibility with a very high degree of probability to Iran for the Armco attacks. Quote, we think that it's very likely indeed that Iran was indeed responsible using both their drones and their cruise missiles to carry out the attack on the Saudis. The difficult thing is how do we organize a global response? What is the way forward? And we will be working with our American friends and our European friends to construct such a response. He insisted that the aim of that response would be to de-escalate the tensions in the Gulf region. Well, now, I think that would be very wise to do, despite the possible offer of more military help for, for Rydia. <laughs> despite his initial bellicose response, the U.S. president has since drawn ridicule for holding back on punishing Iran for those attacks, dismaying the Saudis. Indeed, Mr. Trump has made it very clear that Rydia would have to take the lead military role and even pay for whatever action America took on its behalf. Yep. Yep. You got to pay for us to play. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Mr. Johnson said his aim was to bring the world together in response to what happened in Saudi Arabia. Asked if action could include tighter sanctions on Iran, he replied, there is certainly a case for responding together, and that is what we're going to do. Mr. Johnson also made clear that he would challenge Hassan Rouhani, who is the Iranian leader, when the pair holds talks in New York, as well as protests about the continued imprisonment of Nassian Zagri Ratcliffe. Iran, quote, must release not just Nazarene Ratcliffe, but others who are, in our view, being illegally and unfairly held in Tehran, the Prime Minister stated. Well, friends, uh, we will see how this plays out. 
i personally don't think that you will see any great escalation until the united nations general assembly is concluded on september the th which is mid point of the feast of trumpets for israel which ends at sunset on october the 1st but i would say on october the 2nd and going forward it very well could be game on so all the players are coming to the chessboard like i said in several videos this is shaping up to be a very extremely dangerous military chess game and all the players are taking their positions you have the pawns the rooks the knights the kings and the queens so we're just going to see how it plays out but we know this the king of kings and the lord of lords jesus christ the one and only true god the one who was sent by god the father jesus christ to come as a man to be born into this world to save you and i not only from our sin not only from the grip of the devil but from a time such as this because jesus said when you see these things taking place lift up your head for your redemption draws nigh and truly our redemption is at the very door god bless you this is asa pittman with cnn news for we see the end approaching it's not the end of the world but it is the end of the days that gentile nations will rule this earth for the 1000 year reign of christ is soon to be upon this earth you have an awesome day hi this is jessica ratliff i'm a singer songwriter from greenville florida if you like southern gospel music please go check out my family and i at www.jessicaratliffgospel.com on our site you can check out our biography read up more about us get to know us look at our photos listen to our music and even purchase our music right on the website. If you have any questions, there's also a link available to send us an email directly. I hope you'll check us out. Again, www.jessicaratliffgospel.com. God bless.